driving about 10 miles through the forest right now to get to the campsite. 12 a.m. in the morning. I'm getting some sleep, waking up at sunrise. <sighs> it's still early in my books. This adventure is off to one crazy start. I'm at the Oak Ridge campsite. I didn't get to see this place at all during the day yesterday. I drove in when it was pitch black and I could just tell the vibe here is something different. So I think this is a good place to kick off the send for today. It's time to take the tent down. We have a lot of fishing to do today. Yo, look how easy that is. You guys gotta check out the Coleman tents. They're basic, they're not that expensive, but that's really all you need when you're camping. All packed up. You can see when I camp, I pack it light. I don't keep much because I don't want to spend time at the campsite. I want to get on with the adventure. Unless it's like after a good day of fishing, I'm making a fire, chilling by the campsite. That's why it's, it's best to just bring minimal gear, be able to set up and take down in five minutes and then just keep on going. So let's get driving. When I tell you I have no plan for where I'm fishing today, I don't know if I'm going to be fishing in this park that I'm in right now or the Smoky Mountains, which are 12 hours away. So. A little pit stop on the way. I passed the Blue Ridge Parkway, which is pretty much a road that goes all the way through the mountains. And I was like, I don't feel like driving the highways any longer. So north or south? South it is. I'm glad I took this route. First little pit stop on the drive. We're way up in the mountains right now, let's see. Elevation, 2,100 feet. Wow, look at these mountains. I'm so happy. The Subaru this is a true test to the Subaru. The mechanic said that it was totaled. Doesn't seem like it. This thing, this thing will bring me to the end. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's keep going. Wow, look at this. All right, so the campsite that I'm headed to right now I found randomly on Google Maps. I just searched up the river that runs through it. It's the New River. It looked like a pretty good spot. I mean, the campground was on a cool area with some falls and stuff, but what's in there is a crazy farm. Musky, walleye, spotted bass, huge smallmouth. So here's my paradise for the night. This is where I'm gonna be camping out. Got the river right behind me. That's the new river down here in Virginia. And I'm gonna pitch the tent here, get all settled. Heck yeah, the tent is set up. This is the first official night of camping because last night I got here at midnight. I didn't really get to enjoy it. But right now we got the tent set up. Let me give you guys a quick tour of my paradise. So this is my camping site. And then right here in my backyard, you walk down maybe a hundred feet at most, and you're on the water. So I'm gonna cook up a little meal for myself and then start fishing this beautiful water. It's literally steps out of my tent. I think it's time to cook up a meal with my Isopro little stove right here. I got my mountain house adventure meals. Definitely calling for that. Pasta primavera or mac and cheese. I don't know, I'm debating. So I'm gonna heat up some water. This stove is super simple. All you do is let the gas out, give it a little light. Fired up. Oh my god, my braided line just snapped. I hope you guys can taste this through the video. Time to dig in. You guys better stop going to McDonald's and Burger King, start eating dry food. You'd be better off. I just want to take a moment right now to say that this is my first ever solo camping trip. Let the send live on. Let's start fishing now. I'm just gonna strap the GoPro on and start exploring. Probably take a little swim. So I got the old Troy, as you guys know, six pound test, a Ned rig. Let's take the first cast out here. I mean, this is straight current, but I'm just gonna bounce the Ned rig around see if someone picks it up. I'm just gonna get wet because that's how I know I'm gonna catch more fish. Oh, the, the water is like, per oh my gosh. The, the water is like bathtub warm. That's beautiful. All right, this is gonna be a send. I'm going all over this river right now. I'm gonna start fishing places that nobody's fished before. Look at these falls, baby. All right, what if I take some casts under these waterfalls? Fish on. Fish on, first fish of the day. Oh yeah, he's putting up a good fight. Right under the waterfall. 
Let's go. What is this? What is this? What is this? Woo! Small mouth bass. Oh, he's back. That, my friends, is exactly what I'm talking about. I'm walking across the waterfalls over here. I lost a fish. I landed one. This is where other people aren't fishing. So I got a good feeling about pulling some more fish out of here. Tip number one is fish where other people aren't going. Nobody's really walking across this sketchy waterfall. I can tell you though, the waterfall has moss on it, so it's really not that sketchy. I don't know how wild this current is right here. I'm just doing parallel casts along this waterfall. Got him. Got him, fish on. Another smallmouth. Let's go. Second one of the day. Little river small jaw. Look at that. I'm just waiting for the drop off. Oh, there it is. There it is. I don't know if it's too deep or not. I might be able to make it across. Ah, the current is getting a little strong. Check this place out that I'm fishing. Look, look at this. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Can I get back up? That's the question. I think so. We're chilling. Giant, giant, giant fish on. Giant fish. Holy cow. It's a monster I just hooked into. Oh no. Woo, look at that. Let's go. Aha, uh -huh, finally. A big river small draw on the net. Biggest river small of the day. Check that thing out. Oh, 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 it got deep. It got deep, guys. Woo. That's what I'm talking about though. That's where you find the fish. I probably, I just probably walked on a five pounder. I'm gonna go fish that water I wanted to fish earlier. Cause right now I'm on the complete side of the current. Oh. Let's see, oh. Getting a mildly sketchy, but nothing bad. Okay, oh. Oh guys, guys, we're fishing. We're fishing the honey hole. I'm fishing the water I wanted to fish earlier. I wonder, can I, how close can I get without drowning? Oh my God, you should see my legs though. Look at this, look at that current. It's crazy. Anything for the fish. Oh my God. Oh, I got a giant on. I was literally sitting down, just like enjoying the river. I got the biggest one of the day hooked into. Oh my God. Oh, let's go, let's go. It's a tank. It's a tank. Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, I kid you not. I was sitting down, just chilling. <laughs> and I just got, it's like a 12 and a half, 13, 13 and a half incher. Oh, 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 oh. There he goes. Quick release. Whoa, he was back there quick. I'm telling you, I was literally just like this. I was, I was sitting here in the river, just enjoying the flows because it's like, it's like bathtub temperatures. I'm sitting down like this. Oh, and then, I, and then I get the bite. I'm like, oh my God, God. <laughs> I'm struggling around with the rod. That was crazy. This is probably my favorite trip of my entire life. Like just sitting here in the river. Letting the flows of the river run past. The river is always changing. You got new fish rolling in. You can just sit here for a lifetime and then just enjoy it. Just be silent and enjoy it. That's why fishing is my favorite thing to do. And then you could pick up little snails. There's so much life in this river. Everywhere you look, there's life. It's so underappreciated. And the second that you just take a minute and get out here, that's all it takes. For most people, it's the weekend. For me, it's gonna be every day of my life. Because that's the only way they could be. I don't see justice to anything else. I got one life. I'm living it. Woo, just go with the flow. Let's see where, where it leads me. Oh my gosh, this is, it's comfy. Oh, ow, <laughs> ow, sharp rock sharp rock Whew. okay we're gonna i guess we're gonna keep fishing now that i keep catching bigger fish and i'm gonna i'm gonna walk across this heavy current to try to fish a new area literally just walking it too oh all right i think got him got him got him Whew. that's the reward for going across a mad current just saying oh, oh my god that's a, that's a divot we didn't want we didn't want that. Oh my god. 
Guys, uh, there, there's a hole right there. I'm gonna have to be careful getting back across. Whew, but I got a little smally. Oh yeah. There's a crevasse right here. Holy cow, you gotta really keep your bearings with a with current like this. Oh, 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 I made it. Oh my gosh, I made it. That was just, just ridiculous. I'm telling you, that, no, that's like not current to mess around with. Look, look at that. My wet waiting over the years has gotten me to that skill set, but I gotta watch out. That was, I was getting up there with, with danger, danger levels. All right, I got 29% left on the GoPro battery. I'm gonna keep on exploring downstream a little bit. I'll get back to you guys once I'm at a good spot. Oh, all right, new spot. Well, I'm gonna cast out there with the net. This is like way different water. Very open, probably relatively shallow, not as much current. And maybe bigger fish. Maybe the fish literally sit underneath this. Maybe the bigger ones sit underneath this. Time will tell. Oh my God. Big one. First cast. First cast. Oh, he's off. He's off. He's off. Oh my God. That, that was a monster. All right. I'm going to try to land one or two more good fish before the GoPro dies and then just head back to camp, get situated and then come back out for the sunset bite. Uh, that was amazing. What a beautiful river. What a nice time exploring out here. It just felt good to take a lot of casts in a totally new area. So thanks for tuning in to this episode. I'm going to get all packed up, get ready for sleep, and then get back out here at first light tomorrow to fish. So until next time, keep on getting out there. Keep on promoting the positivity of fishing and keep on sending it no matter what, no matter where you are, whether it's in your backyard or it's a totally new place that you've never been in the world. And that's what I'm doing today. And I'm just so blessed to be able to do this. So thank you guys for the support. Keep on fishing.